Hi, welcome to this video where I will show you this time another adaptive query execution feature, which is the join queue optimization. As previously, so uh, as previously in my videos, I configure the, the Spark session to avoid to have a broadcast join because the optimization will not apply. We we explicitly need uh, a shuffle a shuffle here, which will be guaranteed by this sort merge join preference configuration. Later on, I'm defining also the initial number of partitions. I'm enabling explicitly this queue join optimization and also some configuration properties that I, that I explain in the article, which is linked in the description of this video. And at the end, I also set the advisory partition size just to, to make the optimization happen. And as you can see, I'm creating a skew here because I have a around si because I have 60% of my data which will have this ID and the remaining part which will be different. And in my demo, I will join two data sets. The bigger one, the skewed one, and the smaller one which is not skewed. And let's see now what will happen. And as you can see, we start by accessing into the adaptive spark optimization rule that will add a new physical node where we will execute the optimization skew optimization. And as you can see, the initial plan looks like that. So we retrieve two shuffles. And let's see now what will happen with the optimization. So as you can see, we are accessed the optimization and the plan before the optimization still looks like the plan I showed you before. As you can see, we will go further and at the beginning we will compute the optimal size of every partition for both sides of the join. So just let me find this, this place. As you can see, we start by the left side and the right side just after. And now we will iterate over all partitions and try to check whether they are skewed and whether we can split them in order to, to drop the skew from, from them. And of course, you can see that we have the condition of the coalescing and also that's the reason why I disabled the coalesced, the coalescing explicitly here. And you will see that we will start later the create skew partition specs. And at the beginning, we will get the sizes of the map files. As you can see, those are the sizes we have for the left side of, of the join. And in the split method that will generate the map groups, so that will globally divide the skew partitions into smaller parts. And you can see that we are starting by setting, by adding the first map group, starting with the index zero. After that, we are iterating over all remaining partitions. And every time we will verify whether the size of all partitions seen so far. So we can see that in this case, it will be the sum of these three partitions for index e equal three plus the size of the next partitions, which for our case will be 7,000, is greater or not than the target size of our partitions, which is 11,000. You can see that this condition is true, which means that we will add a second map group 
starting with the this partition index and globally it means that we will as a result of this operation we will have two partition two partitions one with this map files and the second one with this map file just to confirm that i will show you the final indices you can see that that's the case and that now we create a new partial reducer spec with these indexes indices as you can see and i will show you just in few minutes what will be the final plan so just cover remaining partitions here and as you can see in the final plan we will add this physical operation that will be responsible for reading the map groups we created before and we also mark this new plan as skewed and i will just show you the final result just here let me retrieve the new plan which looks like that you can see that we have this extra extra step responsible for reading the map groups we created in the algorithm before and that's this scenario where this optimization will happen later we can also have a scenario where this, oper this optimization won't happen which is this one where as you can see we have three different tables involved in the join operation so once again i'm starting with the physical optimization with the, with the adaptive optimization sorry And as you can see the rule didn't apply simply because this min shuffles num shuffles condition uh, shuffle stages condition sorry so let me run it with the breakpoint that i forgotten to forgot to add before just to show you that this condition will be will be broken And yes it's broken but it's normal because it's uh, the not adaptive version of our plan and starting from now we should see this condition broken at the same place but with another another plan yes as you can see we have three shuffle stages which is the number that breaks this shuffle stages condition equal to two and you have also an explanation why at this moment we can only optimize two sides join in the adaptive uh, query execution optimization and if you want to discover more about this new feature in apache spark 3.0 i invite you to the links to the articles i published on waitingforcode.com and you will find the links in the description of of this video it was bartosz konieczny from waitingforcode.com thanks for watching